For today's music business tip, we're going to be discussing how to break as an artist. Okay. So make sure you watch until the end. Um, this is really, really good information. It applies to my clients that have stayed independent, but been able to achieve virality, to have those millions and millions of plays, but also to really lock down their branding and their marketing. Okay. Um, and as always, be sure you like this video. If you're watching right now, um, we are recording this live. So leave your comments and questions in the chat. Um, but also if you, uh, you know, like this information, share it with someone that, you know, okay. Word of mouth is the way that we're going to help artists to stay legally protective. I, I, I put it out there for free <laughs> so you guys can stay safe. All right. So number one, when it comes to how to break as an artist and basically like how to break yourself. Okay. So that's the point of this channel. We are trying to empower you to be able to do all of this yourself. So you don't have to sign with a record label. If you want to sign with a record label, fantastic. Um, but you'll have even more negotiation power if you've been able to elevate your career to that next level and you have the fan following and you have the streams. Okay. So number one, the trick is to get your first 10 K followers. Okay. And you might ask, okay, so how do I do that now? You know, obviously we want to make sure that we are building on all the social media profiles, but of course, not all social media applications are the same right now, right? So we don't necessarily care that much about one over the other. I think some of the key platforms that you want to have a presence in, and we'll talk about why is nonetheless, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. And, you know, while those are kind of like the top of the funnel, you still want to be on every single social media platform and you want to make sure your username is the exact same. Okay. So I can't stress this enough. Don't have different usernames on every profile. So, you know, or on different accounts, so people can't find you make it very simple. Make sure your username is the same. But the question is, so how do you get to 10 K followers? And, um, what I'm going to talk about applies to every platform. And this is not just from my clients who have had incredible success and are continuing to see and understand why this is so important, but they've been able to get their platforms to 10 K as I have. Okay. And I'll use some, some examples. So when it comes to branding and content, the first thing you have to do is if you don't know what's going to work with the audience, if you don't know what people want to see, which will then cause them to convert into followers, because if someone sees something that they like and they see that that's the kind of thing that you make more than once, they're likely to subscribe. Okay. So what you got to do though, before you can get there and to figure it out is you got to test different content. Now, as an artist, as a creator, you got to test different songs because it just takes one song and it's not even one song, right? We're talking about you picking what you think is the best 15 seconds from your song, but it might not be the best 15 seconds that ends up going viral that you picked. You might have to try another different section in your song of 15 seconds, but it takes one song. Um, and so test different songs. That's number one. Then number two, test different viral sounds. So let's use TikTok as a primary example. And I do this. Okay. So for me, I create all my content on TikTok first, and then I will do like screen record and I will create different versions of the assets, which then I distribute everywhere else. So while I'm distributing like 12 pieces of content a day, <laughs> it actually is only a small amount of work because I only did it one or two times, if that makes sense. We'll talk about that later. But in any case, you also want to test viral sounds and you can get those obviously on reels on Instagram or on TikTok. So find some reels that might fit for you. Maybe it's like a talking thing that you do, you know, a bit to, maybe it's a song, find those viral sounds. And just by adding those sounds to your video, your, your content may go viral. Again, if you get, content to go viral. It just brings awareness to your profile. So it's going to help drive traffic in and then they'll discover your great music, your great brand. So that's kind of the second vertical of content that you want to try. And then the third vertical is show different aspects of your life, right? So, you know, you don't want to just beat people on the head every day with the one thing that you do, whatever that is. Um, if it happens to be music, if you're just constantly advertising, you want to entertain and bring value to the people who are going to be following you. So just show other aspects of your life. And my example on this is as a musician, 
as an independent artist, I finally kind of opened up about the fact that I'm an attorney. I opened up about kind of what that looks like. I kind of made fun of things. I embraced things. I showed, you know, powerhouse, you know, lawyerly things. And by just being willing to kind of show some of that other side of myself, that ended up resulting in some videos going viral. So once you have gone through all that, you've tested the crap out of these different pieces of content. Once you have something that starts getting some engagement, it doesn't have to go crazy viral, but once you see what's working, then you take the winning content and you do more of that, okay? You do that thing over and over and over and over. And if you're so lucky that it happens to be in association with one of your songs or with one of you know your 15 second sound bites, beautiful, keep using that. Don't, don't fall off just because you've posted about it 10 times, post about it a hundred times. And I promise by you doubling down to have that one song get the attention that you reach, that will translate into people going to the actual music platforms to check out your music. And that's gonna help with your followership and overall growth, okay? So winning content, do more of it. And then that's when you might consider doing paid ads. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then make sure you post that thing more than once. And I don't mean like, oh, use the same sound. I mean, you can literally post the same video that did really well. For example, I had a video that went viral and not only on one platform, it went viral on two platforms. That's how you knew it was a good piece of content. And so I ended up posting it over the course of a couple of months, maybe four different times. And collectively it got like 10 million views on one platform. And think about it this way. If you're listening to a song, right? You wanna to listen to the song that you love again and again and again and again. So apply that to your social media content. It's okay to repost the same thing that people loved multiple times because they love it. Post your viral content again. All right, so that's number one when it comes to, uh, you know, how to break as an artist. To get to your first 10K followers, you gotta get the winning content, you gotta do more of it, and you gotta push it out. And I promise you will see this with your different social media platforms once you start to see what's working. And you will get those 10K followers sometimes within the first month as soon as you find the content that works specifically for your brand. Number two, when it comes to, you know, basically how to break yourself as an artist, you know, and this goes in hand with the last tip, but hyper-focus on TikTok. Hyper-focus on TikTok for 60 days. I had a client who was just like, you know, ah, I don't really use TikTok and isn't it this and isn't that, and there's a lot of fear in it. Just get on the platform and see for yourself. There are so many creators, you know, contractors, doctors, um, every type of professional person that you can think of is on TikTok. And then there's also people who are doing fun little dances and there are people who are telling stories. You are one of many, you just don't even know it yet. And there's people who want your specific kind of content and you don't have to do what other people are doing. So get on TikTok and then I want you for 60 days, post every single day, it doesn't matter what it is, but you wanna to start to just see what's kind of working and that's how you're gonna achieve step one. So the, 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 the homework is do it, but do it for 60 days and then have it on your calendar. Keep yourself accountable, do it. Okay, number three, why Instagram reels are still worth your time. All right, so I think for a lot of us, you know, Instagram is, what's the point? You know, I think for a lot of us, Instagram is just so hit or miss. We'll post something and then it will just go to die. Or every once in a while, you know, it will get pushed out. But it, it feels like more often than not, a very small portion of our audiences are actually seeing our posts on Instagram. Right now, you are still doing okay with Instagram Reels. And in fact, again, from my own personal experience, if you post consistently to Reels, there's a much higher likelihood of Instagram pushing you out. And if you go to Miss Crystal Instagram, you will see that almost 98% of the content that I post are reels. And it's specifically for that purpose. I've had videos that have been pushed out to a million people on one video and then other videos that were like 700,000 and then taking my own advice, reposting those videos over the course of several weeks. Again, just really, really spreading the virality and getting the engagement. So I've been able to kind of do these growth hacks specifically using Instagram reels. Now, you know, people will say, well, should you create natively on Instagram Reels? Personally, I don't do that. That's not intuitive to me. I like creating on TikTok. 
So my little hack again is, you know, don't publish your TikTok and then download it and then redistribute it on other platforms because it's gonna have that watermark. And Instagram knows what you're doing. Instagram's gonna see the watermark and be like, oh no, competition, suppress the post. So your, your workaround is you can get a free screen grab recording app. And you know, before you post it, you just do preview, it goes full screen, you screen grab it. And then what you can do is just you know, save that, add the audio to it, and then boom, you have a crisp, clear version of your TikTok video that you can post to Reels and Reels will push you out. So I'm prom- I promise you guys right now, Reels is where it's at, if not on TikTok. Those are the two platforms you should be focusing on. All right, so number four, when it comes to basically how to break yourself, um, let's talk about the best release strategy to break quickly, okay? So a release strategy when it comes to your music. So number one, and you know, this is something that I even kind of had to take my own advice on. You can't just release the song. You can't just do like one tease of it the day before and hope that like a hundred people saw it and then you're like expecting somehow it's gonna go viral. It's not. And the way that big record labels are doing this right now and the way you should do it is to actually tease your music. You know, we had Wendy Day on this channel and all she does is she breaks artists. She gets paid $250,000 to do what we are talking about. And she herself said, you have to make sure that you are teasing the crap out of your music Number one, so people know the song, right? They're hyped about the song. They've gone and pre-saved so that when the song goes live, it tells all the platforms, hey, look at all these people who listened to the song when it went live, right? Which helps. So it helps with kind of the buildup, climax of the release. But you also do it to decide whether it's worth doing a music video, right? So as artists, we're like, this is the song this is the thing that's going to break and we make these determinations based on our own subjective feelings what the hell do we know unless we are the hit makers ourselves we're probably not going to be right and we're probably going to waste a lot of money on songs that we're just very passionate about but you have to be business minded so as wendy day would say take the time to test your content to test your songs and to see how your audience reacts if they don't like it they don't like it if they love it and goes viral Totally makes sense to dump a couple thousand dollars and make a music video, right? All right, so then, so you build up, let's do like 30 to 60 days of promotion, bare minimum. You release the song, hopefully you've pre-saved that whole time. So you have hundreds, if not thousands of people who have pre-saved, it goes live, beautiful. After it's been live, continue pushing it for at least six months. If it's a full length album, you better be pushing that thing for a year. Don't just push it out and give up. You have to keep pushing it because you never know when that song is going to go viral. And then make sure, and this is, uh, you know, the next tip when it comes to how to break yourself, make sure you have submitted your song before it was released on Spotify through Spotify for Artists and um, do it for Spotify playlist consideration, the official Spotify playlists. Now, Spotify is getting a lot of submissions you probably won't get the approval to have your song featured. But if you do, it's huge, okay? If you can get one of your songs added in, here's how you do it, okay? When you go through, set up an, you know, Spotify for artist account and make sure, of course, you do it as early as possible. Don't do it the week before. They don't have time to look at your song if it's a week before. Try to do it like four weeks before the song comes out, okay? And then they'll say, tell us a little bit about this song. So you'll put in a very concise statement. Don't do your life story. They don't care. They don't have time. So put in a very concise statement, just being like, this is the song. This is what it's about. This is why it's dope. This is the genre. Okay. And then add in, why is this thing, like, how is it going to be promoted? And so be like, these are the promotion tactics we're going to use. We're going on tour with this band. It's featuring this one artist. Whatever you can do to make your little pitch sexy as hell, whatever that is, spice up your pitch, okay? And even if you don't get picked up, you know, 10 times, 20 times, however long it takes, do it every single time. Don't ever not at least give yourself the chance of being added to an official Spotify playlist, all right? And number six, when it comes to basically how to break yourself, let's talk about paid ads for a second, right? So we have paid ads that we can do on YouTube, 
on Spotify, on every single platform, basically. Right now, my suggestion is only put money into Facebook ads. Facebook ads are the ones that will go the furthest. They will reach the most people and have the most likelihood of actually giving you a return. Okay, so um, one, one good example, you know, we've covered Tom McDonald on this channel and Tom McDonald is an independent artist and his story goes, you know, he had just released a ton of music and he just couldn't kind of break through and he was down to the wire, no money. So he finally, you know, had a song he felt was a hit and then he scraped together some money from family and friends, put an ad together and then overnight it ends up going viral because of the ad. Okay, so ads can be incredibly effective and again, cost is not that crazy. If you go on YouTube, it's going to be way more expensive. So advertise on Facebook because there's still a massive audience there. You'll get a good conversion on it. But going back to my first tip, don't put money into an ad for content that you don't know is going to do well. Make sure you test that content. And if it organically does well, that's how you know you have winning content. Those are the ones that you want to put ads on. Okay. All right, guys, so when it comes to kind of marketing in general, I do a deep dive and how to keep your dukes up in the music business, um, which you can check out in the link down below. The book is rated five stars on Amazon. So just so you guys know, we're not just covering marketing. I'm not just the marketing guru. There's a lot of stuff that I have learned through my career and what I'm doing. I've had a lot of success, but also learned through my f failures, which is why I'm sharing this. So obviously we do all the legal stuff. I give you contracts, but we do definitely deep dive on all things marketing.